natural and synthetic rubbers this uh, topic we are going to discuss in this video so what is natural rubber you know natural rubber is obtained from rubber tree tree and this natural rubber is nothing but the terpene where i isoprene unit is repeated n times what is that isoprene unit this is isoprene unit you can write here ch3 this is ch2 this is c this is c and this is ch2 so this unit is called isoprene unit and in natural rubber this unit is repeated n times so there uh, before we start our discussion i want to tell you one thing that you can write isoprene in this fashion or you can write isoprene in this fashion so there is actually a butadiene so this is 13 butadiene unit where at second carbon methyl group is present so 2 methyl 13 butadiene is nothing but the isoprene so this isoprene unit either you can write like this or this you you must remember this uh then how this terpene is produced or the natural rubber is produced that i have shown here in this polymerization reaction for that purpose you use this kind of isoprene unit this stereo isomer and you just repeat it n times i have shown what happens the bond the pi bond present in between 3 and 4 is moving in between carbon number 4 of one unit and one of another unit so this bond is shifted here to join together and to move this bond this the pi bond present in between carbon 1 and 2 is moving in between carbon 2 and 3 of each unit 2 and 3 if you do that you have to remove this terminal pi bond outside to join carbon number 4 and one of two units this and shift this bond in between 2 and 3 2 and 3 every time so after joining after moving that pi bond accordingly you will get natural rubber so this a uh, terpene molecule is formed where n number of isoprene units are joined together now why it is called z configuration so this you just observe this double bond i'm showing this double bond and find out which groups are attached on the carbon carbon double bond so this methyl group is attached and at the same carbon a bulkier remaining chain is attached so as compared to this this is a top prior group which i'm showing by using a circle and at the next carbon there is one hydrogen so this hydrogen and this top prior group means bulkier group which i am showing now you can see if you see the configuration or arrangement at the carbon carbon double bond two top prior group or bulkier groups are toward the same side of the double bond because of that we represent this configuration as a z this z is zusammen means together so this uh this because of these two bulkier groups toward the same side of the double bond we call it as z z configuration and our natural rubber is a z configuration now if you prepare this rubber natural rubber in the laboratory or artificially or synthetic rubber you can do two things by using radical initiator uh you can grow this chain now in if you are using radical initiator in the laboratory the configuration is changed in that case if you want to draw this this rubber form after the radical initiator you have to use this isoprene unit or configuration of this isoprene unit 13 butadiene that means 2 methyl 13 butadiene you have to join together but not in this format you just take in this format this isoprene unit and join them together you will get this kind of zigzag line or simply 
you can draw this kind of line and by putting a double bond at alternate carbon you will get this rubber this is not natural rubber this is artificial rubber which is called gutta percha where the configuration is different than the natural rubber i am just showing why it is e you just consider a double bond and this group and this bulkier group i'll make the circle around the bulkier group now you just see at this carbon there is hydrogen and bulkier group toward the opposite side of the double bond but here in this case bulkier groups toward the same side of the double bond if bulkier groups are toward the opposite side of the double bond we call it as a e configuration so here e configuration is produced after radical initiator by using radical initiator in the laboratory and we call this rubber as a gutta percha gutta percha is a hard material as compared to natural rubber and natural rubber is a soft material and more elastic now if the same isoprene unit join together by using ziegler natta catalyst for ziegler natta catalysis or that mechanism you have to watch my previous video so you can understand the ziegler natta catalyst now by using ziegler natta catalyst you have to use this configuration of isoprene unit and join them together like natural rubber so the configuration is z that means by using ziegler natta catalyst you keep the stereochemistry like natural rubber as it is and you get a uh, this natural rubber by using ziegler natta catalyst which is also called z configuration so in this way you uh, i hope you understood the meaning of natural and synthetic rubber thank you